The government in the villages and cities is popularly known as local self-government. The panchayat manages the affairs in the village. The municipalities look after the management in the cities, while the municipal corporation administers the bigger cities. The sarpanch is the head, but the members help him in looking after the welfare of the villagers. One third of the seats are reserved for women. Grants are provided by the government to enable this body to perform its functions properly. Constructing and maintaining roads, streets, wells, etc. Managing local disputes, providing agricultural facilities, providing education, providing safe drinking water, supervision of sanitation. Councillors who are elected by the local people form the municipal council and are responsible for attending to the health, education and general welfare of the people living in their wards. The mayor who is elected for a period of one year is the head of the municipal corporation. The municipal commissioner who is an IAS officer is responsible for executing the various tasks assigned to him. To enjoy the various facilities, the people have to pay taxes in the form of house tax, land tax, road tax, water tax, etc. To keep the city clean, provide safety, spread literacy, provide basic necessities, electricity and drinking water, construct and maintain roads, parks and hospitals. Thus, the state governments can function smoothly with the cooperation of the local self-governments and the central government can run the country peacefully towards progress with the help of the state governments.